Hello my soccer universe for another unpacking video. Yeah, I'm going international teams on the background. Actually, almost all these teams here have qualified for the World Cup or are almost qualified like Japan here with the only exception of, of course, Ukraine. But now Ukraine or will remain on this set for a while. Let's put it this way. But yeah, I put international teams on. I have an American jersey on. America is not, uh, the US are not yet qualified, but I'm gonna open two more jerseys now from this great box. Oops, <laughs> my table, everything fell. Um, doesn't really, really matter. From this box, I show you two because despite me having lived in North America for 10 years, for some reason, I have not managed to get more than one uh, nation, which is the US. I have two US jerseys and my wife has another one that doubles up the centenary jersey. Um, and I remember I did have the chance at one point when I was in San Diego to buy the uh, Mexico away jersey, but never really got, uh, but then ultimately decided not to. That was in 2008 and ever since, Never really. So it's a little bit. I'm a little bit appalled that my Concacaf collection is only consisting of two uh, U.S. jerseys, and this box that Idris sent me uh, changes that. Two more Concacaf teams that will be very, very, very useful. So let's open it up, and I'll show you. The first one that Idris offered to me is one from his personal collection, which he sold me for ten which is ta -da -da -da, Canada. It's an away jersey from 06 up until 08. Funnily enough, I think this jersey debuted in a friendly in Austria in 2006, which was this new start for Austria. The first time we, we just had missed out the quad qualification. We had a new coach uh, in the build up to Euro 2008. We had an easy opponent, easy in Canada. Canada came, played in these jerseys, won to nil in Vienna. Uh, one of the absolute low points uh, in Austrian soccer. But um, I have to say, despite it being a rather weird template, I mean, just look at the color that is asymmetric, which is something, you know, symmetry is something I'm quite big on. So this was never a big favorite of mine. I think it was Trinidad and Tobago that had a similar jersey. I have to say I actually like this jersey because it is a little bit asymmetric. There is, you know, Canada jerseys are never exciting, but this one at least there is a little bit of red here on, on the side with, 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 with the white. So actually I am was quite happy to get this one because almost all the other Canada jerseys that I've seen that were, um, let's say, since Adidas took, 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 took over or, or Nike, they were all templates and all one more boring than the other. There was a great umber one in 98 where you had a maple leaf running across. I mean, this is uh, at the front, which is still would be the ultimate Canada jersey for me. The one thing that I really, really think Canada needs is a redo of this crest. Uh, I don't mind the Canada. I don't mind the Maple Leaf. I mind the half soccer ball down there. This is, this is not a good crest. I gotta say, I really hope they come up with something new at the World Cup. I have to say that the material of this jersey is rather interesting. I mean, it is uh, the light Adidas material from the time, but um, it has all this, and um, the camera will not pick this up, but it has all these little squares here, which is make, makes it very interesting, but very lightweight. And yeah, Canada is more or less qualified, so I always needed a Canada jersey. A jersey. And I was very happy to tick one off for 10 bucks because I saw myself already buying one for full price. So, US and Canada, the two North American nations that I've actually been to. So that was a must have. And then in my quest, although they're not qualified, there's one CONCACAF nation that you absolutely need to have. Besides the US. And yes, living in the US, I know that's the big rally. But I needed a Mexico shirt. And, you know, with Mexico shirts, I, there are a few that I really, really like. Uh, but, uh, of course, who does not like the 98 one? But I knew this was not going to be re uh, realistic. But then Idris found a rather, uh, I want to say, almost obscure one for th a little bit less than 30, I want to say. And I said, okay, this is obscure enough. It's uh, from a manufacturer that I do not have yet. So no, 
you see it's kind of an origin old jerseys there's no nike there's no adidas so i was very intrigued by it and i show it to you right here i really like the colors and it was also by uh bought used but it's in pretty decent condition it's of course the 2002 one very interesting jersey first of all uh it's atletica is the, is the main effect factor so this is already uh pretty interesting to me uh, the crest maybe could be a little bit bigger but 2002 was the time when logos were really 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 small but i really like that uh it is the green that, that you would expect but just trimmed with a little bit of red makes it kind of interesting to look at and then the sides are a little bit darker green than the rest so it's a quite it's a very plain church but it's quite in, in interesting it has a little mexican flag here on the sleeve so i like i do like that and then of course it says mexico on this side um have to say this jersey in a way it reminds me of the i mean of the 2002 to work where i i remember uh, italy had to play mexico and they in the end played out a 1-1 one -one draw uh and then i think in mexico this is uh this lives on in infamy because yeah wearing this one you lost to the us in the round of 16 which probably of all the defeats that mexico had uh you know they always want to go to the quarterfinals <laughs> game five I think of all the defeats they had, the one against the US is probably the one that hurts most. A uh, little bit more on this shirt because I find it really interesting is this tag here. So, uh, Atletica. Uh, cannot read this. Prenda Original. And then uh, it has also the Atletica tag here. So, I, I have to say it's a really interesting and nice shirt. Quite happy with that one. That is a Mexico shirt that you, around here at least, you don't see that often. I mean, I never thought that I will own the 2002 one. Yes, it's not 998, but 2002, that one is really, really, really nice. So yeah, I have tripled the countries in my CONCACAF collection. I have doubled the jerseys from CONCACAF and more will come because there is probably another nation that will most likely qual qual qualify given that the fourth place team from CONCACAF plays against um, what will most likely be New Zealand. Although, never underestimate New Zealand. So, uh, I would be happy with either happening there. So, we gotta see. In any case, please let me know what you thought about those two jerseys that I got. Show you one more time. We had first the Canada one. I gotta say the current black one looks actually nice, although it's also very simple. So, Canada, the one that beat Austria. And again, Mexico from 2002. So, very happy with that one. Any case, please let me know what you thought about these jerseys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.